Hi, I'm Logan Browning, and this is how I do my wash and style. I have no idea what hair type I have. Uh, I have kind of a, a mixture of curls. I have looser curls, kinkier curls. It really depends on what part of the map of my head you're on. And so because of that, how I style my hair is really important. You know, like the middle, the crown of my hair is a bit uh, coarser, so I have to pay a lot of attention there. And then around the the nape of my neck and my hairline is much looser of a curl. But if I had to guess, no, I'm not gonna guess. I really don't know. All right, so I just got out of the shower. My hair is still wet. Before I got in the shower, by the way, hair was big, massive, very tangled, which I love. But one thing that I've started to do is use Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder. Now, this is not a cleanser. This is not a conditioner. This is a detangler. And I'm the kind of girl who used to just wet my hair, lather it in conditioner, figure it out along the way, getting the tangles out. But I noticed a lot of shedding and I kind of wanted to work on that. So you wet your hair and section it off, put this in, finger detangle. I promise it's a lot easier, less time consuming than you think. And then I use a lot of different shampoos and conditioners, but today I used this Safira Define Shampoo. As long as it doesn't have a sulfate, I'll use it. So I used this to cleanse, and that's when you wash everything out. That's when you wash out, or when I wash out, the cleanser and the pre-cleanse. The next thing I do is kind of an extra step I don't always do, you don't always have to do it, I love Olaplex. Um, I will take some of this conditioner, run it through my hair, let it sit for a very short period of time, and rinse it. But the reason I don't let this one sit in for too long is because I, oh my gosh, this is how much I use this. I need to go get some more. It's almost gone. That's sad. Uh, this is Diva Curls Melt Into Moisture, and it's a matcha butter conditioning mask. You're really supposed to leave this in as like a once a, every blue moon treatment, but I use it as my conditioner and I think it's fine. So I leave that in for a bit. I, when I'm feeling lazy, I will use Tracy Ellis Ross's incredible pattern detangling brush. I love this so much because it has a hook. Well, a hole for a hook and I can hang it in my shower. I also use her clip, which I'm going to take down now so we can get started. All right, so this is my hair, freshly washed, freshly conditioned. My routine's changed a little bit. So I cut my hair, oh my God, when did I cut my hair? 2019, maybe? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, and since then, it's obviously grown a lot. Um, and I've had to adjust my routine because of that. And yeah, let's get started while well, my hair is still wet. So let me just tell you what I use up front. Number one most important product, water. Gotta have water. My hair is gonna get dry as we go on. It's already starting to do that so I keep water on deck and I actually like the travel size bottles because they're just easier to maneuver. And this mist, get into it. Products wise, outside of the most important one, um, I use <laughs> Y'all, okay, drag me if you want. I still use Diva Curl. I know the whole internet was like, Diva Curl, you shouldn't use it anymore, blah, blah, blah. I still use it. I love it. You gotta use what works for you. My hair is fine and it's been fine and yeah, I love Diva Curl. This is what I use. So um, when it comes to my, my styling, I like to try to use um, all of the same line of products. I feel like products are meant to work together. This is one thing that the curl doctor Shai taught me. A couple of things, make sure that your product, the first ingredient is water. Um, you gotta be checking your ingredients. You do it to the foods you eat, do it to the stuff you put in your hair and on your face and on your body. Um, so first ingredient always has to be water and make sure it doesn't have any shea butter, any sulfates. 
mineral oils, you don't want that stuff. It's coating your hair. I'm gonna start with Super Cream, Be leave -in, Archangel Gel. This is my magic potion. You'll see how I use them. So, first things first. You'll see that the top of my hair is already starting to dry. So the one thing that I changed in my hair routine is instead of starting from back to top, you can see like the back of my hair is still pretty soaking. I start from the top to the back. Just gonna pin this out of the way for one sec so I can get everything else. Okay, I'll use my handy dandy pattern clip again. And then you have this really cute style. You're ready for prom. Okay, so the top of my hair, like I said, it's getting dry. So that's when this water is gonna come into play because you wanna start with water before you put your products on. And I'm saying you, but I really mean me. This is what I do. So I just start going in and wetting my hair. And the point that I am gonna know that it's wet enough is when I can run my fingers through it because I've detangled in the shower. So once this is all wet again, it's gonna look shinier and I'll be able to run my fingers through it just like this. Okay. We're in a good place. So now we're gonna go into even more sections. I'm gonna split this in half. I don't really part my hair uh, with a comb or anything. I just kind of pull it apart because, you know, curly hair just needs to do its thing. You don't wanna force it. So step one, water. Step two, super cream. And I used enough to get it on my hands. I focus this on the ends. The super cream is just adding moisture back into my hair. Um, kinda like a leave-in conditioner, I guess. Next step, I take the leave-in. Also, my hands just are gonna get more wet, more messy, there's gonna be more hair on them by the end of this. Just wait and see. You don't wipe it off, you just use it and keep going. Um, so the same amount of the leave-in, I just comb that through my hair. So the top of my hair is a little bit more of a problem area. I don't, I'm sorry hair, I don't mean that, you're not a problem. But it requires a little bit more product. So this is again, believe in, just putting a bit more of that in my hair. We want juicy, juicy curls. And I'm telling you, the only reason I can run my fingers through my hair is because I detangled in the shower. When it comes to curly hair, you have to go step by step. Every step is important. And if you skip one in your routine, you'll see it later, so. And the other thing I learned about my curly hair is that, you know, Wash and go is a myth. That's why I call this my wash and style because you can't just wash your hair, throw some products in it and then leave the house and you're ready. You gotta take time and put effort into your hair in order for it to look like you want. So the last step is this Diva Curl Archangel. And internet, I hope you know how much I love you. I'm letting you see me very crazy looking right now. So you know it's real. Do the same thing, but the final step is taking my Denman brush and just going through to get all the curls nice and separated. All right, so my cut has grown out. Um, I used to have a bang and now I kind of don't. So I just work with it, you'll see as I go. But the next thing I do is I'm gonna take these sections I'm gonna loosely, well, I think I need to do a little bit of finger coiling on the front just to make sure these curls are popping. So I'll just take a piece, you see, run my fingers around them. I used to do this a lot more when I had a proper bang and I wanted the front of my hair to be nice and defined, um, but now I just kind of do it loosely. See, I just take a couple of them. So I don't want to disturb these curls too much and I know I'm moving really fast for you guys because I want you to see everything but this is what I do. And I pin that up. 
All right, now we're gonna move to the next section. As I continue down the rest of my hair, it's the same process. It's so funny doing my hair myself. Like, I miss the days when my mom did it. Like, I used to have to sit down on the ground between my mom's legs as she brushed my hair, braided my hair. Sometimes dad too, shout out to dad. Oh my gosh, I remember, <laughs> it's funny I cut my hair as an adult because as a kid, oh, talk about the influence of the media. So as a kid, I remembered like when, <laughs> when Clueless came out and um, Cher and Dion, like they were just, they were lit. And I remember Cher's hair was, she had this kind of, she kind of had a blunt cut. Like it was, it was a thing in the 90s, like girls would have these blunt haircuts. I've seen them come back. Um, and I wanted it too. I wanted a blunt haircut too. Uh, and instead of telling my mom, of course I'm just gonna do it myself. So I remember I got the scissors and I went in the bathroom and I took all my hair, I had long hair, took all my hair to one side and I got the scissors and I cut straight across. And then I threw my hair back and I turned around and it looked crazy. My hair looked like the stock market. It was nuts. That was before I think like ninth grade formal and so my mom took me to get my hair done and she had to cut so much off. My hair was like shoulder length. Whew. Moral of the story, don't cut your own hair. You wanna know what I didn't learn? That lesson because when my hair, when I was transitioning my hair from it being like mostly straight to curly, what did I do? I uh, cut it myself and I had a mullet and Shy, the curl doctor, had to uh, fix it. Navasha Johnson and she has given me some awesome looks she gets me we trust each other we play you know she cares about the integrity of my hair I did a, a late night talk show and she gave me what she calls a like a bobby pin haircut where she took uh, bobby pins and pin my hair so it looked like I had a high top. Fade, that thing was crazy, my curly hair. I also really love my NAACP look from the last time I went. I wore this like incredible, very like Evanescence, black, big dress. She did my hair up and oh, I love it so much. This, this whole process is also gonna be really misleading when you find out that uh, this is all just the prep. Like, when I show you how much time I really put into this, you're gonna be like, you deserve for your fro to look that good, girl. And I want that for you too. Here we go. It's the final countdown. Last section, best section. All right, so I'm gonna take this section and pin her up. And now, ooh, so cute. So now that all of my hair has product on it, and has set for a little bit, we're gonna take all the clips down. Um, so I start from back to front. And yes, I even clip up that last section because I just feel like, you know, what you do to one part of your hair, you gotta do it to all of them. 
just how my brain works, I guess. And as I get them down, you see there's still these little twists. So I just gently, gently unravel these little twists that have formed. And you can see how juicy and rich my curls look. Got all my sections down. Now that all my hair has product in it, what I do is I will take some kind of hair turban with a microfiber towel texture on the inside and I flip my hair and uh, it's called plopping, basically what I'm gonna do. Um, you can find it elsewhere on the internet. Uh, you basically, you don't wrap your hair in the end of the towel. I'm gonna flip my hair and then push it up so basically all my hair is gonna be sitting on the top of my head and then I twist the turban. And I do this to just encourage the curls to kind of like lock in. So um, I'll be right back. You can kind of see me. So I take this, my hand, and I just push my curls up like this. And when I push them up, you see that motion? That's where they're gonna stay. And then I do a little, oh, we're okay that that guy is hanging out. And then I just come up. So all my hair is just sitting on the top of my head. There's no hair in this part of the twist. There's no hair hanging back here. Um, and yes, I bought this because it looks cute. So this is how I set my hair. After this, I'll take, I'll leave this for about 30 minutes. Um, I'll take it down and uh, later I will take my Dyson diffuser. Isn't that cool? It's magnetic. And I'll dry my hair upside down um, until it's completely dry. But the reason I do this step first is it gets rid of some of the excess moisture. You saw how much water and product I put in my hair. Um, and when I take my hair down, it's kind of already, it just is kind of ready to go. All right. So I just wanted to come back and show you what my hair looks like once it's all dry and fluffed out. When I dry my hair, I start from the back. So I took the, tur the little twist off and then flipped my hair, started from the back, dried at the nape of my neck, and I, I don't touch my hair when I'm drying it. So I just kind of start uh, like this, drying all of my hair all the way like this, all the way around. Um, and I do that until my hair is about 85% dry. And when my hair is about 85% dry, then I will start to go in and use the diffuser in that uh, kind of scrunching motion. But before that, I, I don't use the diffuser to touch my hair. I don't want to disturb the curls before they're dry. So really, like I said, focusing on the back, focusing on the scalp of my hair or the root of my hair, the scalp of my head. Uh, that's where I really focus the diffuser because that's the part that I want to dry first. Yeah. <laughs> See, how do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It has been a pleasure to show you how I do my wash and style. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are so inclined, check out season four, the final season, the musical season of Dear White People, only on Netflix. Bye.